So let's talk about the seven natural blood thinners, okay? There are certain things that don't have side effects that can thin your blood and actually stop a clot, okay? Uh, vitamin E will thin the blood. If you're gonna take vitamin E, make sure that it's the whole complex, that it's not a synthetic version. You want the, the kind that has tocotrienols and tocopherols together, okay? And then we have garlic. Garlic right now is being heavily researched by Big Pharma for its anti-thrombotic effect, okay? Uh, it actually can thin the blood naturally, and there's a certain compound, a phytonutrient in garlic that's responsible for that, and they're trying to synthesize that or so they can patent it. But what about just take garlic? Then we have something called natokinase, okay? It's a natural blood thinner. Turmeric is another good blood thinner. Apple cider vinegar, very simple, included in your diet. It can help thin the blood. Um, also, uh, cod liver oil. You can also do fish oil, but the omega-3 fatty acids have natural blood thinning properties. And then we have pycnogenol. This would be equivalent to using uh, aspirin, okay, in certain studies. So it comes from pine bark, and it's pretty darn effective. Now, if, if you had, a, I don't know, a surgery, a heart surgery, or you had a stroke, for example, you are probably on Coumadin. And that basically blocks vitamin K1 um, because it's an anticoagulant, okay? Because vitamin K1 helps you clot. And unfortunately now you can't consume a lot of foods with vitamin K1, okay? Because it just so happens, those are the vegetable family that you need to provide for other nutrients. So I put a link down below of what types of vegetables you should be eating that are low in vitamin K1 that have other types of vitamins. So you can check that out if you actually have to be on this. Uh, but work with your doctor to see if you can do an alternative to this or even these alternatives right here because I'm not recommending that you stop your medication, check with your doctor. This is just uh, data to research uh, if you wanted to go more natural. Big question is what causes a clot and strokes in the first place? Well, one big cause is high levels of blood sugar and high levels of insulin as an in insulin resistance. I mean, take a look at metformin, for example. One of the effects of metformin is it can decrease the risk of getting a thrombus, okay? Well, metformin works to increase the receptor for insulin. It improves insulin resistance. I'm not recommending taking it. I'm just telling you that one of the effects of metformin is it decreases uh, thrombus because high levels of insulin creates a thrombus, okay? And this is another reason why you should do healthy keto and intermittent fasting to decrease your risk of getting a stroke in general. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, real quick, I have a new healthy keto eating plan for you. Just go to drberg.com. It's right on the front page. I put a link down below. Download it, it's free. Check it out.